Oh, hey, <laughs> everybody. Hey, uh, so and, uh, we're, what's going on this week at High Point? So first is this week is Graduate Sunday. We're going to have our high school graduates upcoming up there, and um, we're going to be um, just praying for them and giving them a book. Um, what that, what my my book that just just got published by Paraclete Press called Game Plan um, has just come out and. Uh, Anyway, so we're going to give it to the graduates. It's going to be available at the church. Um, it'll be, uh, the suggested donation is $15, and half of that goes to our internship program to help train the next generation of young church leaders. So it's great that you get a book you can give to a graduate as a, as a gift, but also half of it goes to train these young leaders. So you're going to want to buy it, not just because I wrote it. And third, um, really soon there's going to be a schedule for, for all of our summer events this summer. Um, small groups at High Point are going to scale back a little bit in the summer, not meet quite as often. And one of the things that we want to do is we want to make sure that new families moving into the area or people who have been at the church for a year but still don't have good, may, haven't made friends, we want a summer where people can go to these social events and connect with one another and have fun. And so there will be a schedule of summer events coming out that will be designed to be fun and they're focused on some different groups like young adults and families and so on and some all church together. So look for that schedule and try to participate as much as you can. And then Fourth, um, the small groups, um, as I just said, are going to ramp down a little bit in the summertime to allow for some of these things, but they will ramp back up again in the fall. But that does not mean you can't join a small group until the fall. You can join a small group right now. The next thing is with children's ministry. One of the things we try to do in the summer is let the people who have been serving the whole school year take some time off and regroup and hang out and to get some new people in just for the summer. So if you don't serve in children's ministry right, time, right now, but you can fog a mirror and you can not be mean to kids for a whole hour, um, we would love to get you involved or, or anybody who thinks you might want to get involved because we want to give the people who do the whole year a little time off and give you the opportunity to minister to kids for a little bit. This, and also, uh, in July, we'll have Vacation Bible School, and that is an all-hands-on-deck thing. We need everybody from everything to get involved as much as possible. And so consider, um, keep your eye out in the bulletin for the dates of that and consider volunteering for, I think it's five evenings. And then lastly, coming up, we're going to continue with 1 Corinthians. We just finished three tough sermons on judgment and after this week we're going to start another series called touchy issues because the next couple weeks cover a lot of very touchy issues um, including issues related to sexuality and marriage and so on and so it's going to be fairly controversial i'm going to hit these things as head-on as i can but still as charitably as i can and um, there's two things you need to know one it might be a good time to invite a friend if they're the kind of friend who are, is refreshed by hitting touchy issues dead on and dealing them in good helpful ways hopefully and it may generate really good discussion the second thing you need to know is this this content may not all be appropriate for children you're gonna have to make your own decisions I'm gonna aim for about PG 13 for the next three or four of these if you think your kid is is up for it then by all means let them be there if not you may want to send them to children's ministry or something else okay so looking forward to the next couple of months and I hope you are too